Hey, Salvador Braveman here. Welcome back to the Crowdfunding Demons Find YouTube channel. On this channel, we talk everything crowdfunding, Kickstarter, Indiegogo, how do you get your project fully funded? How do you get a new product out there to the world so you can impact the masses and people can actually live their life using your products every single day. And maybe someday you can also see a product in the wild. So there are many different categories when it comes to Kickstarter, right? And I kind of pioneered this, talking about how the different categories are so different from campaign to campaign, and also wrote the book, The Kickstarter Launch Format. I've been in this industry for a long time, but today, I want to really focus and narrow in on the tech and the design category. So we're actually getting to some secret techniques, some secret tips and things that you should know if you're planning on launching a gadget or a gizmo into the actual Kickstarter ecosystem. That being said, if you're not, if you're more of a board gamer or a creative type, listen up as well, because the things I wanna point out, you should also look at for your particular category. And I think it's gonna be very illuminating in that way. Again, my name is Sal and the video is coming up right after this. So all the time on coaching calls and group coaching calls, we'll go through examples. And that's kind of what I want to do in this video is to give you guys a couple of examples, right? Because I think it makes it a little bit more tangible. So a lot of the points that I go through on this YouTube channel, um, things like my course, things like my book, et cetera, it's all based on the fundamentals of how to raise money using crowdfunding, specifically when it comes to the Kickstarter launch formula, the exact step-by-step -step blueprint, the paint by number formula that you got to follow in order to get a project funded. Of course, you can check out my book on Amazon. You can look at the Audible down below. That being said, let's get into some of these secret insider tips when it comes to technology products. And the first project that I wanna talk about is called uh, Unique, your portable pottery stereo. Say that three times fast, your portable pottery stereo. Okay, so I'm gonna have this go on the screen so you guys can see this. So the first thing I wanna share with you, this is obviously a massive project, more than 1,800 backers, right? More than 200,000 that's been raised at the time I am recording this video. And I wanna pay attention to one key thing here. And this is what I call basically when you have a product design which spills onto the page, okay? A lot of the times we look at a design, a product of some kind, and one of the biggest mistakes I see with my coaching students is the fact that they don't bring that design forward when it comes to their actual Kickstarter campaign page. So let's look at this example. So first of all, if you look at the, we're not gonna go through the video and all that kind of stuff, but you look at the actual product, you can see really interestingly how this product has rounded corners, how the colors kind of make it pop, and almost kind of looks uh, really interesting in that way. And something you'd love to just have on your desk, right maybe next to your potted plant or something like that. Um, it looks really cool. And also the background you can see here, it's sort of paired if you wanna look at the tones, right? It has that blue background, uh, has some interesting kind of yellow uh, background there. And also it's paired with other kind of wood tones, et cetera. So what I wanna first pay your attention to is the fact that it has rounded corners in its design. And when it comes to design products, when it comes to tech products, the design is actually one of the number one things that gets people's focus and gets people's attention. So what this campaign did pretty well is they took that design of the actual product and they spilled it onto the actual campaign page. So if you scroll down here, you can see how when it comes to, for example, the, the look and the feel of the images, they all have different rounded corners, right? When you look at the behind, you see the, the, the titling, like it's a at-home decoration as well as a pottery machine. You can see almost the kind of curvy nature of the text, right? You can see as well how the colors are implemented in the text, in the shadow of the text, and even in the background. It almost makes it has that feeling like it's leaping off from the page, and it's a very consistent theme. It's a very consistent design, right? As you're going through down more, you're still gonna notice as well the curvy nature of the text, the fact that it has rounded edges when it comes to the actual images. You're gonna see some gifts here of how it's being used. So as you're kind of going down the page, what I call this is the product design is spilling onto the page. And what it kind of creates is this feeling almost as though you are immersed in an experience. It's a brand experience. Now, if they didn't do this, you'd still be able to see the product, right? But when you came to that actual page, it wouldn't feel the same. It wouldn't feel as unique, right? It wouldn't feel as different. It wouldn't feel as cohesive. And because all these things are in alignment, it makes it feel very deliberate, almost like it's an end-to-end -end product. Like the actual product is probably designed very well. And then if you back this campaign, you're more often than not going to get a really great product out of this and a really interesting experience. So I would say if I had to sum this up in one key word, it feels special. It feels unique. It feels very well put together, very well thought out. And it's because of, again, the consistency with the colors, the fonts, the curvy nature when it comes to the images and the rounded corners, all these different things really contribute to that. And even just kind of scrolling down as well, I see with the add-ons and like there's a little sticker that's almost 
you know, push pasting the add on to the actual campaign page. This is all very well thought out, very deliberate, and it gives that entire feel. So that's my tip number one is take your product design and think through it, right? Think through how could I maybe manifest this on the actual Kickstarter campaign page? If you do that, you're gonna kind of have this almost subtle psychological, if you wanna even call it, I guess, under conscious awareness, subconscious way of conveying value on your page, which is really freaking cool. Now, a lot of my viewers, a lot of my students, a lot of my listeners, you really like to just enjoy and like to kind of tune in to Sal's broadcast and Sal's podcast and all kinds of stuff. That's great. If you're more of like an action taker and you really do want to do some homework in addition to these videos that I'm putting out for you, I'm going to link down below to a podcast that I did with One Clock. So One Clock did a $781,000, well more than that, Kickstarter campaign. I had them on my podcast and shared with you exactly how they're able to smash their goal on Kickstarter. And here's the cool thing. One Clock has a lot of the similar design features as the one we were just talking about, your portable pottery studio. They literally have very similar design features. So if you wanna actually understand from the actual creator's perspective why they made these choices, you can listen to my podcast with One Clock, which I will link to again down below. Number two, okay, so for the next insider tip when it comes to technology and the gadget gizmo category, and again, these are like design products and those kind of things, I wanna draw your attention to Zilch, which is a zero waste cup that fits in your pocket. So let's kind of examine one thing when it comes to this campaign. And if you follow what I'm about to mention, you are going to have a massive impact with your marketing. You're gonna be commanding hordes of attention. And really this is the secret in order to attract the attention of the crowd and to get a massive movement of people moving behind you. So are you ready for this one? Now, in order to kind of do this, I want you to look at this campaign and there's some great things that we can notice right off the bat. But what I want you to do is just to begin to scroll down the page and see what what's capturing your attention? Where are your eyes going, right? What is capturing your attention? Because that's gonna really lead to the point that I'm about to make. And that's that simplicity wins out always when it comes to marketing. Now there are some great examples of having very long sales pages. I'm not talking about that, right? I'm talking about simplicity of ideas, simplicity of text, simplicity of what it is you're trying to get the person to do or pay attention to. When there are too many things that are vying for someone's attention, they tend to just kind of get a little bit confused or a little bit frustrated, or they might pay attention to one thing and you really were trying to get them to pay attention to something else. So human beings, myself included, we're all chimps. We're like evolved chimps, right? We just evolved to be able to have you know, a system of producing goods and to pass knowledge from generation to generation. But really, we're just kind of chimps at the end of the day on this massive planet, which we call Earth, right? So we like simplicity. We can't hold too many ideas in our head at once, maybe one, two, three, or at max. I've done a lot of studies on this as well. There's only a certain amount of information you can actually maintain in your working memory. So the great thing that this campaign does is really big, really bold headlines as you're scrolling down the campaign page. In addition, when you're looking at these headlines and you see, for example, for hot and cold drinks, double wall stainless steel glass that won't burn your fingers, locks upright, right? Tear locking mechanism prevents abrupt closing, 100% leak proof, sealed tears and lid, uh, lid prevent unwanted spills, multi-purpose sleeve, my eye is going to all of these major headlines. And it's almost because the news as well has kind of programmed our minds this way, but the more simplicity you can make with your headlines in terms of those big level benefits, right? So multi-purpose sleeve fits into cup holders. What are you gonna use it for? 100% leak proof, right? And then it talks about if it is 100% leak proof, which is a benefit, right? How is that supported by a bit of functionality? So 100% leak proof and the functionality that's supporting it right underneath it is sealed tear and lid prevent unwanted spills. So the reason why it's 100% leak proof is because of the sealed tiers and lid. Locks upright, why is that? The tiered locking mesh prevents abrupt closing, right? For hot and cold drinks, why is that? Double wall stainless steel won't burn your fingers, right? So it has double wall stainless steel. You're kind of getting the drift here. There is a pattern. There is a formula behind this. I talk about this in my book, The Kickstarter Launch Format. There is a formula behind this. The first thing they're doing, obviously, is, a, is drawing your attention to very simple, eye level, easy to consume, easy to understand benefits, supporting that with functionality. And then what's the third thing? The third thing, they're obviously illustrating that. They are showing proof. They're making you basically put yourself in the position of this actor where it's being handed, for example, with the hot and cold drinks from person to person or locks upright. It literally shows that, right, in the actual gift, the fact that it's leak proof, right? It's showing those images. It's showing as you're going down the gifts and how it can easily have a multi-purpose sleeve that you can fit it in or it fits into cup holders. So if you wanna think about the formula, if you're writing this down, the formula is that you, number one, you gotta show those benefits. You gotta support that with functionality and you gotta show proof. And this is, I outline 
define this exactly in all of my program and I go way more in depth. This is like, if you think of an iceberg, okay, you think of an iceberg just at the top of the water, this is just scraping the surface, my friend. There's a whole formula that goes undepth in terms of unlocking how to get a project fully funded and that's what I try to teach here, right? So this is just a glimpse of that. But when it comes to that, so you're seeing benefits, functionality, and proof. And it creates this very simple tertiary structure where someone sees the benefit, which gets their attention, right? The actual description of the functionality kind of checks off that logical box in mind. It's like, oh, okay, I understand why it's leak proof now. And then they see it and they believe it. So it's a really interesting, you know, one, two punch and sort of like a third knockout punch, which gets that person just buying in and scrolling down the page, right? So really freaking cool, really exciting. And just to give you that example, um, basically keep things simple, keep it to a certain structure that we talk about and that we teach, and it's gonna really impact and you're gonna have a massive number of people that are gonna get their attention and move them along this path to becoming a backer. Want to take all the stress out of fulfilling your Kickstarter rewards? Fulfillrite is the turnkey solution that puts product delivery on autopilot. The top campaigns use this trusted high-tech provider to store, package, and ship their products. Focus on growing your business. Leave shipping to the experts. Don't wait. Get a custom quote from Fulfillrite today. Link in the description. So my homework action item on this one is, if you are a part of my membership community, to go through the forms there that are available in my community and to go through the copywriting forms and to really flesh this out as well as more of the different variables that we talk about for your individual product so that you can get this formula working and you can very easily deliver this on a crystal clear, rock solid page that's designed to get funding. Number three, so the next technique that I wanna talk about it's kind of a really interesting way, I think, to not only develop social proof, but to also get people just believing that you are legit, that you are high quality, and if they follow you along with this campaign, that they're gonna be rewarded for that. So really to me is just a credibility booster. And honestly, whenever you're entering a new industry, this is one of the hardest things to do. So this is almost like a way that you can very instantly develop credibility. And I have talked about this on this channel before. So we're gonna examine the See Everything Smart Lock, Eufy, the smart video, uh, video smart lock, okay? There's a three in one combination, 2K resolution camera, 0.3 seconds, finger point recognition, smart lock, dual motion detection, doorbell, okay? And these guys have obviously launched a couple of other campaigns. I believe I also had them on a podcast as well uh, in the past. So you can look down this page and you can see some of the other things that we've already noticed and pointed out in this video as well, right? When it comes to headlines, when it comes to all of that, when it comes to the, the design consistency, et cetera, colors, the way that that spills onto the page, et cetera. What I really wanna draw your attention to in this particular section is see our endorsements. So here, you're gonna see a bunch of different stuff. You're gonna see some people that are saying some really nice things. You're gonna see some videos. You're gonna see some logos, et cetera. And what that does is, it not only does that kind of almost lend a little bit of credibility, but it also, if you're a beginner who's just coming to the page and you're a first time backer, or even if you back backed a couple of different projects before, it's gonna really level up head and shoulders the perspective of that company. So it's gonna seem way more legit to just kind of put it in more vernacular terms. And when you're able to include media logos, media mentions, product reviews, anyone saying something nice or testimonials about your product, it, it just kind of puts you in a different level. And I know that can be very difficult as a beginning creator to get that kind of material. And there are some techniques and ways in which you can do that. I urge you to dive into some of my YouTube channel content on PR, how to get press mentions, all that kind of stuff, particularly if you just have a prototype, some ways to actually get some influencers on your side, et cetera. And if nothing else, you can also talk about this in that coaching call with me, some ways to actually go about doing this. But the third tip that I wanna share with you in terms of a secret is that if you can do this, if you can spend the time to actually get high quality reviews, mentions, et cetera, and stuff that you can put on the page, it's gonna make your credibility pop. It's gonna make it so that other people are more likely to write about you. And particularly when strangers are coming to the actual campaign, they're way more likely to back you because they see you as legitimate. So my homework action item for you is if you wanna learn more about PR, I got a free course out there on PR, particularly how to get media mentions, how to get the press to write about you, how to get influencers on your side. You can check out that free course down below at crowdcrux.com slash PR.
Okay, so the next tip that we're gonna go into comes to the actual offering. So I call it an offering because that's really what it is at the end of the day. Once you've gone through all the different decision criteria and sort of plotted out the mental map of what a backer has to go through in order to become a backer of your Kickstarter campaign, there's really just one thing left, which is do they like the freaking offering? Do they wanna buy it at the price point? Do they wanna back your project? Do they wanna pre-order? Do they wanna support you, right, as a creator? That's really, at the end of the day, you know, when or they're not, you're actually gonna get a conversion when it comes to the actual Kickstarter campaign. So that's kind of what I wanna draw your attention to in today's uh, video when it comes to you know this next point, which is Groomatic. So this is an automatic cat brush. Groomatic, the automatic cat brush, really kind of cute as well. Satisfy your cat with the only automatic cat brush. Now I'm actually not a cat person, I'm more of like a dog person personally, but cats are kind of cute too. You know, I give some points to cats, but uh, yeah, I love, I love dogs, man. But that being said, this, this campaign, this got 4,000 backers, more than 200,000 that was raised, insane, great success, right? And you can obviously go through this on your own time. What I wanna draw your attention to, my friend, are the rewards, the rewards, the rewards, because the rewards and perks are the number one thing that's gonna hold someone back from actually becoming a backer. If they get there, they don't like your offering, as they call it, they are not gonna support you, my friend, right? So let's go to the rewards here. What I really wanna talk about, this number one tip, is that, again, simplicity, simplicity, simplicity wins out, particularly in the tech and the design category. Now, this is not true of every other category out there, okay? This is one thing, you gotta go and watch some of my other videos here, but when it comes to tech and design, the fewer rewards and also the more clarity in those rewards, typically the better. Now, it's not in blanket. You have a guy that's have a lot of products out there, right? You have a lot of different ones. I was on a coaching call recently, he's like, Sal, that goes counter to your advice. I'm like, I know, dude, that's why we do the calls, because sometimes it's a little bit different when it comes to your specific category, right? Your specific product. Some, not every product is created the same. Not every industry is the same, right? So, but what I want to show you is, look at this. These guys literally have two rewards on this project. And look how clear they are. I love it. Look how buttery clear this is, right? I guess butter is not clear. I guess buttery smooth, right? Look how crystal clear this is. It's like the waters of the beaches in Miami, man. So clear, so amazing. So here. Um, pledge 53 euros or more, Grumatic Cat Brush. You'll be the first to receive one of the Grumatic Cat Brush. Includes this, 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 this. Right, here's the delivery date. Pledge 44 more, Early Bird, Grumatic Cat Brush. Save 70% with this limit offer. You'll be one of the first to receive this cat brush. Includes this, this, and this. And that is it. There are two choices when it comes to this. Now, a lot of the times, again, we'll have uh, students who are like, gee, Sal, like, I really wanna come up with some interesting reward ideas, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, and that's, again, good if you're in film, if you're in different categories like that, board games, et cetera. When it comes to tech and design, people really, at the end of the day, want the freaking product. They don't want T-shirts, they don't want mugs. Um, again, it's gonna vary from category to category, and specifically what that says, if you're supporting an overall mission or you just kinda want this, this cat brush, right, for your cat. But when it comes to this project, and it's sort of a blanket statement, I would say, with this category, you wanna keep them simple, you wanna keep keep them tight, keep them easy to understand so that the checkout process is much more fluid when it comes to the actual campaign. So again, simplicity, simplicity, simplicity is king, and the more clear you can make it, the less friction you're gonna have when someone is actually trying to back your project. And the last project that I wanna talk about on today's YouTube video is not only I think something that's really well done, but also something that when it comes to actually putting together your own tech or gadget gizmo kind of product, it's gonna make a lot of sense here what I'm about to mention. It's really just something that's more of a marketing trend nowadays. So this is Cabo Flex, the next generation of bone conduction headphones, okay? Bone conduction headphones. So first of all, if you're scrolling down the page, you're gonna notice a lot of the stuff that we already talked about in this video when it comes to testimonials, right? When it comes to actually having a consistent design theme, when it comes to the headlines, et cetera, my formats that I talk about, right? All these different things you're gonna notice. What I wanna draw your attention to is actually something that's really small, that really seems like it's very insignificant that's being used by so many creators nowadays, and it's kind of almost like a secret trick in a way to command attention. And what am I referring to? I'm talking about in the reward tiers, using emojis. And not only that, but using emojis more often in your marketing when it comes to email communications, when it comes to social media posts, all that kind of stuff. And here's why, is that not only does it draw your attention very clearly, but also adds a little bit more familiarity to the page. In particular, most people, let's be honest, or when they're looking at Kickstarter pages, some people are on their iPads, some people are on their laptop, a lot of people are on their phones. And they're already kind of naturally in that environment where they're texting their friends, where they're posting on social media, they're doing these things, they're already seeing emojis, and it kind of creates a consistent feeling almost when they're scrolling down your campaign page and they're also seeing emojis there. And I know that sounds very strange, very small, very minute, 
but we're really trying to create a sense of familiarity that when someone backs this, that it seems like it's almost not weird. It's not strange. It's like there's not something off with the marketing. It's a very consistent, very smooth, very clear transition from someone actually discovering this online to coming here and then to backing the project. So my last tip for you was to make sure you include emojis. You can include emojis in your rewards. You can include it in different elements of your marketing, in your email marketing, et cetera. It was not only gonna get attention, it's gonna create famili familiarity, it's gonna add personality, to your campaign. And even if you're a very serious retailer or a very serious company like these guys, you know, obviously they have a massive campaign here, have an attract more than 5,600 backers, more than 500,000 that was raised for this campaign so far. Um, these guys are using emojis. So more often than not, um, I'll get a lot of pushback on this, particularly if I'm brought on a team, right? So I obviously do things like hybrid coaching and stuff like that where I'm brought on different teams um, when it comes to different projects. And a lot of times it'll be like, no, we don't wanna use emojis. We wanna be like more serious and business-like. Well, here's a great example of how you can use emojis and create a more informal style of marketing that's gonna resonate with the end consumer versus keeping it all stuffy, really boring, very just kind of dry, that's an old school style of marketing, my friend. You're not gonna wanna do that if people are already on their phones, right? If they're reading a newspaper, maybe, right? Or if they're reading at like a trade journal, but not certainly when they're browsing through their, their stories, they're looking at many different photos from their friends, they're looking at emojis in general. You wanna keep a consistent flavor and consistent medium when it comes to that. So it's not so abrupt of a transition and it creates feeling of familiarity, comfort, personality, get your attention, all those things. So I hope you enjoyed today's style of video. Um, this is also something that, you know, this is really just to me a process. It's really understanding a process. It's really working hard every single day, getting momentum every single week, taking action. And the more that you can do that, the more you can move that boulder down the hill. Is this something that you're passionate about? Is this something that you're excited about? Is this something that you have that you feel like you're unique in your actual product and what you've created or trying to bring into the world? This is something that you owe to get out there so that other people can own this, so you can see a product in the wild. And the way to do that is to not only be taking action, but to really surround yourself with the right people, to surround yourself with the right sources of information, to have a consistent stream of valuable information, insider tactics and techniques that are just flowing into your life and that you can take action on. And that's the number one thing, the number one reason why I started my blog in 2012, why I started my podcast in 2015, why I started my YouTube channel, is to bring you this kind of quality of information. However, I'm limited, man. I'm limited in this box, right? In this format here with this video. I can't do everything when it comes to just making a YouTube video. So that's why I have my insider community. So I call this a master community. It's really designed to help you smash your goal on Kickstarter, no matter what category you're in, this will share with you not only my own worksheets and templates and all those things to get started, checklist items, examples of success, et cetera, but also all of my teachings, the things that I don't talk about on YouTube, the in-depth lectures when it comes to that, as well as one-on-one -on -one regular ongoing coaching with me, checking calls, making sure again that you are moving this boulder up your hill and that you're always taking action, you're making progress, you know what homework items you gotta address. If you have difficulty when it comes to scheduling things, of not knowing what's next, of not knowing what you don't know, you want someone to hold your hand every step of the way, or even just provide a different lens on the marketing that you have, this is an incredible, opportunity for you. So again, I am opening this up. We're doing another semester when it comes to this. So if you are interested in this, again, learning more about this community, the Smash Your Kickstarter Goal Mastermind community, go and check out a link down below and we can begin to do these regular ongoing coaching calls and almost kind of bring me on as a mentor either for you or for your team. And in that way, you can have way more confidence going into your upcoming launches. You can also have a different set of eyes, a different perspective on what's going on behind the scenes when it comes to your project. You're gonna have access to all of the best practices, all of my templates, all of my worksheets, all of that, as well as the private training that I don't release publicly, the things that are proven to work. Like I talked about, this is the tip of the iceberg, my friend. There's a massive reservoir of crowdfunding gold that I would love to deliver straight to you, straight to your inbox, and you can get instant access to. Again, check out the link down below. You can learn more, as well as some of the other examples and links that we talked about on today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Salvador Brigman. Hope you have a great day. Take some action this week, and I will see you next time.